Hey, good morning guys, welcome to today's video. It's Monday, we're headed to Costco because as you guys might know, it's almost Christmas and we still have stuff to buy. We're still shopping for Christmas. I swear, I'm the kind of person that shops right till Christmas Eve. What do we do, Sam, for Christmas? Oh, I'm the kind of person that shops all the time. <laughs> yeah, like we buy I stuff. I bought stuff. I bought stuff already for Christmas. I know. So like I end up like I feel like I buy all the stuff that the girls want. I buy the stuff that the girls want I and that they the ask for. The girls want. I buy the stuff that the girls want and that they ask for and the things that like they need. And I feel like Sam buys all the stuff <laughs> that he thinks is interesting and fun and he would like. <laughs> I'm telling you, stuff I bought. Gabby will love them all. Did you put, did you get anything from their list? I didn't see no list. Ah, so there you go. That's why. I buy the things that are on their list. I don't go by list. And Sam does not go by list. It's okay. It's okay to be yourself. It's okay to shop the way you shop. It's okay to dress the way you dress. It's okay to talk the way you talk and walk the way you walk and wear the clothes that you wear. All I can say is I got you the best present yeah. ever. I'm excited about that. And you will not know what it is. And might not like it. I think I already know what it is. You might not like, <laughs> like it. Like the thing about Sam is that he and you're not gonna is get it until Christmas. not good at keeping secrets. Like there have been so many times where he's been where he's bought stuff for us and then he's been like do you want it now? Do you want it now? And when the girls were little. <laughs> you're gonna want it now but you're not gonna get yeah, it. Yeah I'm pretty sure I know what it is. I'm like 99% sure I know what it is just because he has a big mouth and he just talks about stuff. Like, what is wrong? He is not good at keeping secrets. A secret, you can't say anything about it. Let me ask you a question. Have you talked about this thing? Nope. Sent me any messages about it? Nope. Are you lying right now? Nope. <laughs> the only people that know what it is is the back two people on the back. The back two people. All right, so if I guess it, will you no, guys tell me it. what your dad bought me for Christmas? Christmas? No. I don't think I know it. If I yeah, you know it. If I guess it, will you will you say yes or no? I told you. If I guess it, will you like start laughing hysterically and then I'll know? No. <laughs> yeah, <I> will. <laughs> Should I do it? Because I'm like 99% sure I know what it is. I know two things that got you. I think. Okay, what's the big the thing that dad I bought me? Oh wait, I I just remembered one. Okay, just wait. Is it coming in four weeks? Four weeks? Yeah, you told me you bought me something for Christmas. Oh, it's actually coming, like, should be, like, this week. Okay, I still think I know what it is. What do you think it is? I think, should I tell you? Should I say it? Yeah, should I, I say it? I it's gonna be... I'm just going to laugh anyway. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to laugh anyways. Okay. Is it? Oh my gosh, I can't even, because I'm just laughing. This is, like, coming from the top of my head. Like, is it... Gabby's hiding your laughing. <laughs> no, you're laughing. I'm waiting. Uh, it's I'm so gonna laugh anyway. Alright. Is it a Samsung Fold 4? No. No. <laughs> I'm laughing because you're laughing now. Gabby's laughing because you're laughing. Uh, I, I know that. But is it? No. Crazy. Why would I get that? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Those are like $2,000, man. Yeah, no, you're not getting that. You're not getting that. No matter how hard you wish. That laugh from Gabby told Gabby it all. Really yeah, that's what his laugh really means. That's what I'm not. Why are you talking about? My voice is always deep. Oh, oh my goodness. I always like to like tell them that I know what it is because then it ruins Christmas. It Okay, so the thing is, is that Sam Okay, is I'll give you a hint though, it's horse related. Oh, why would you do that? Well, yeah. Christian thinks you So now he's going to the other thing. Yeah, lower your expectations. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you guys. Yeah, you heard it here first. You heard it here first. That's what I think he bought me. I didn't ask him for it. It's my dream phone. It, you guys know I tried to get it like two years ago when I was upgrading my phone but they it was really hard to get in Canada with COVID and we couldn't we get it. Get that, so I don't know. Sophie, I'll tell you, you one of your presents for another year. if you tell me if that's it. Is it the two that I already know or is it a different one? A different one. 
mom's done that before and it? she never tells. <laughs> I'm not gonna argue with them. I'm just gonna say that that's my guess. And if I get that for Christmas this year, you guys will have heard it here first that I was right and that I guessed it. Um, but when I was a little girl, not a little girl, when I was a teenager, my mom, we had we had a lot of kids in our family and my mom would buy a millions of presents. Like there would be so many presents and she would never want to wrap them. So she would give some to me and some to my sister Robin to wrap. And so we would wrap each other's Christmas presents. And then so at night when we would go to bed, she would say, I'll tell you one of your presents if you tell me one of my presents. And I would say, okay. And then she would tell me something, but then I would never tell her the real present. I would like make up something and I'm pretty sure she made up stuff, yeah. But anyway, so I, I always tease my kids and say that to them, but I never tell them, they never tell me. Comment below if you are the kind of person that sneaks around and looks for your Christmas presents so that you know them before Christmas or if you're the kind of person that likes a surprise. I like a surprise. I, I, can't I don't care about presents that much. The problem is Sam literally was talking about this so much the other day telling me about the deals that they have on Samsung, um, the phone that I want. Sent me a picture of the deal that they have and it was telling me that he was reading up about how like how you how they changed everything about when you get a new phone and going on about this phone and I'm like oh I bet he's getting you that for Christmas and then like very next day he's like I bought you something for Christmas and it's really nice and you're gonna love it no this is how Sam works I've been with them for a yeah, long time <laughs> I used to snoop around for my presents you did kid, you I did always yeah. snooped around for my presents oh, wow. and my sister and I we would know where the presents were hidden and we undo the tape and we look at them all. That's awful. Except the, except the clothes. We love the clothes. <laughs> we didn't want to look at the clothes. <laughs> Do you guys snoop? Have you guys ever snooped for your presents? No. no. I've never looked at them. Yeah, Sylvia, have I you ever to. looked in your presents? I feel like she has. I feel like I know she has. There's always one in every family. I've never done that. I <laughs> Why do you let me wrap the presents? I don't know, Sylvie. I feel like you do. Take that for me like that. <laughs> I can't believe I found this. She's made in Canada. She I've been begging you to help me find these. She's been begging for this. So last year we bought one, or a couple years ago, but she found the Costco Dog Delights Advent Calendar. And it was on sale. And it's on sale, $13.99. So it's big and it looks nice. I think it'll be okay for all of our dogs. One of them, you think one will be okay? Huh? You think one will be enough for all of our dogs? Well, the cookies look pretty big. Yeah, the cookies look huge. So and these, they can split it and stuff. Yeah, and the Daisy mostly can't have them. Yeah, so Daisy will just get a tiny piece. Yeah, like Daisy, it sucks having a Dalmatian because they have dietary they problems. for Dalmatians. All right, let's keep going. Oh, look at those cookies. Those cookies are the best. Uh, you like those cookies? All right, who doesn't love dinosaur clothes? That's actually adorable. Oh I love that. That would be so cute on Jack. Or they have a uh, black set, but this material I just feel like would would be so it's so thin it's like paper. No, I like this one better. Do you guys like it? It is actually so super cute. I love it. Unicorn pajamas. I love unicorn pajamas. Who doesn't love dinosaurs and unicorn pajamas? And it starts December first, and that's Thursday. So if you're still thinking about the advent calendar. <laughs> I, I, I was so excited when I found it. I know. She's like, I'm getting this. And I'm like, like, yes, you are. Put it in the cart. Put it in the cart. Fancy meeting you here. What are you eating? Brogies. Big reason that we're here is that Jacob, last year I bought this for Jack for Christmas, and now Jacob is obsessed with it, and this is what he wants. It's this huge, it's this four gun laser tag. I feel like this one's different. No. Different colors. Oh, wait. Looks newer, and the yeah, other I one was cheaper. Brooklyn wants Lego. Oh, she does? Yeah, this year. Well, last year, didn't you get her Harry Potter Lego? Yeah, last year I got her, I think, Harry Potter Lego. So here's other lasers. Are these lasers? No. This is not lasers. Mom. You think Aria would love that? Give it a fish. That's cute. It's a dolphin. I have one of 80, these, but a unicorn. 80 sounds and reactions. It has a ball. So this is cool. It's like popcorn, all different kinds of popcorn, and then some spices. Himalayan salt, cinnamon sugar, chipotle salt, and Himalayan salt. Favorite Costco buy is always the toilet paper. 
That's right. paper towel. Is it paper no. towel? Never mind. Wait. Toilet paper. 425 sheets per roll. Oh. oh, and Sophie? No, that's bad. Sophie <laughs> is a fish freak. She is allergic to fish. No, Why I'm allergic, allergic to shrimp. She's allergic to shrimp. We don't know what else she's allergic to. We didn't know she was allergic to shrimp until she ate them. Again, with my favorite. I should have got this for my birthday. The problem is with fruitcake, I love it so much, I'd eat the whole thing myself and I don't want to. Yeah, those are nice. You should buy that and put it in the freezer for like when we have to go someplace. Yeah. That's nice. So I wanted, I've been wanting to do this thing and with the horses. Okay, so I want you to pretend that you put the lead rope and the halter over his neck. So we're gonna walk Chino with a fake halter and a fake lead rope. So we're gonna pretend that she's gonna put it on him. So you're gonna go put it over his ears, like run your hands up his cheekbones and pretend you put it on him. Look at how good he is for her. He does not listen, he does not listen to me like that. Okay, go ahead, put it on. Put on your fake, put, touch his whole face so he knows you're putting it on. And then clip it up. I is not on the right side. Okay, clip it up. Clip it up. You gotta put your hand underneath. He's not buying it. Put your hand underneath and I grab did. the rope. I no. Did. Yeah, there. There. Click. Okay. Now put grab the lead rope. Who wants to do it? <laughs> Let me try. I literally saw them do this. And it was, the horse believed the halter was on for most of the time. It was so funny, actually. Okay, so Sophie's gonna do it to Honey. Put it up. <laughs> she doesn't really count because <laughs> she just follows people anyways. I told you guys yesterday that I've been trying to maintain our horse's, our pony's weight. Gracie, I don't think looks too bad. Willow looks a little chubby and the mini looks fine. Mostly Willow. You run into the wall even though you have so much space. <laughs> She's like, I don't know. Stop. No matter how much I tell Sam like this, this is how much they have to eat each day. We we literally learned to weigh our food when we first got our horses. We weighed them, saw how much each like so we know how much it each weight looks like and hey sam wasn't there he didn't do any of that stuff so he doesn't get that part that's a different broom you know is this a new broom look at the yeah, handle yeah, we, every time i come down to the barn there's like new oh, stuff you want here to the helmets? Come here. anyways i'm getting frustrated with willow's weight willow's always gonna be chunky no matter how hard you know we had her at such a good weight it's okay. before she's gonna keep chunky. <laughs> it's okay chino gets a lot of food but anyways um, I'm going to actually do what I did before, set the food up, and then he can just feed them each day. And then we're going to, I'll explain it as I do it. All right, so this is going to be so super easy. And in fact, I think I'm still overfeeding the ponies. So this goes by weight. It might look different than what you guys are feeding at your barn because hay everywhere is different. This is based off of the weight of our hay, and our hay is not super light, it's just a, a regular, I don't know, it's not super heavy, like we've had all different kinds of hay. But anyway, this is our hay, and basically Chino and Penny get one of those for a morning feed, and then the minis get this, and in fact, that's probably too much even for the minis. So what I used to do was I used to take the feed for the day and then I used to split it in half. So we'd have morning feed and lunchtime feed. These flights are actually really huge. Okay, so basically what I do is I divide them for breakfast and lunch. So this okay. is their this is their serving for my, I'm interrupting the children and they're like getting so no, frustrated you, with me. For I am, yeah. So let me explain. This is Chino's for breakfast. This is Penny's for breakfast. This is the ponies for breakfast. But because we feed them three times a day instead of two, what I do is I divided their morning feed into two different piles. So Chino and Penny will have one of those piles for breakfast and they'll share it. And the ponies will have one of these piles for breakfast and they'll share it. And then in the afternoon, we'll come down and we'll feed them another, the other piles. Penny and Chino will share that. And the minis, the babies, will, the, the littles will share that. 
So over in this bucket here is where I put like a lot of the chaff and a lot of the stuff that just falls down onto the ground. I put it in this bucket and this is Honey's bucket. She doesn't need that stuff. It's the same stuff. No, it's mixed with dirt. It's not mixed with dirt. Hopefully you guys understand it. But that is what I do for hay and that's what I'm going to keep doing for a while until like Sam gets an idea of how much you're actually supposed to, to feed. So we actually feed according to like the weight of our hay for each pony. Willow is the one that needs the least amount of hay and she's so pushy she gets like the most of it I feel like. Our horses then get that same amount again at nighttime. So um, they will get, Chino will get this amount again at, at dinner time and Penny will get that amount at dinner time and the ponies will get one of these at dinner time. So it's just one pile. Oh my gosh. I literally can't even explain it. I can't even explain it. Hopefully Sam can figure it out. It's just easier when you just do it. I'm gonna actually pretend to put Penny's halter on. Penny did it. I feel like Penny kind of did it. No, it's because you always I feel like, it and then you send her out with the halter on. I feel like Penny was confused and thinking like, I think she was thinking that I was confused. Like, what the heck are you doing? But then she just <laughs> went with it. Anyway, that is it for today's video. Uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow for another video. You, 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 you,